Hello, everybody. Okay, the last presentation of the day. A few weeks ago, I ordered the Vic Voter from uh, R. M. Melick in uh, in South San Francisco, and it came in this box here. This brand new, brand new equipment for your Vic 20 or for your uh, C64 or for your C128. And uh, it came in this box, and inside this box, oops, <laughs> in this box, you get a little box that says Raspberry Pi in it. Uh-oh, Raspberry Pi. You get a 30-day warranty, and wrapped inside a little plastic bag, you get this thing, the Vic Voter. So this is a box, this is a speech synthesis cartridge. And inside here is a little Raspberry Pi computer running at 700 megahertz. It has 256 megs of RAM. It has a four gig uh, mini SD card in it. It has a little speaker and an amplifier. It has a little volume control for the speaker. And you plug all of this hardware into your VIC or your C64 or C128 so you, you can make your Commodore speak more naturally than the SID can speak. So we're going to plug this into this VIC-20 here and we're going to also run some games like there were certain Scott Adams games that, that can take input and it'll speak out in a voice. So here we have The Count, an adventure game. Pirate's Cove, another adventure game, and Adventureland, another adventure game. And we're going to try this with the Vic Voter here. So I'm going to power down the Vic 20 here. We're going to put, attach the Vic Voter. And the Vic Voter takes 30 seconds to initialize because the Raspberry Pi is doing what it has to do. So I'm going to uh, attach it to the user port. We're going to attach the we're going to power up the VIC-20. We're going to pr turn on our microphone here so we could hear what the VIC loader has to say. <laughs> I hear a buzz. And when, oh, and when the VIC loader is ready, it'll say system ready, and it'll say, you know, a version number. So while we're waiting for the VIC loader to initialize, uh, we can do other things like over here at the VIC-20 area here, we have the bare bones uh, multi-cart. We have here the VIC-20 multi-cart development cart which has games on it, 30 games or so. We have here the, the VIC-20 uh, cart expander here that uses a strange rotary knob. So, oh, I did not attach the VIC voter correctly. So, let me, let me power down the VIC again. It is not fully in the user port. Let's try that again. And basically, the VIC voter just uses three lines out of the user port. So, we're going to try it again. Power up. Okay. Tr sorry about that. Vic Voter is hopefully initializing this time. And you won't see anything on the screen. It'll just say what it has to say. So, later on, if you want to play around with Vic Voter or try any of these adventure games, uh, you can listen to them talking to you. And it does make the adventure game seem more... Vic Voter version 1. Hey. System ready. Did everybody hear that over the loudspeaker? <laughs> okay. So uh, you can use one of these sample programs like uh, on the website when you buy the Vic Voter. You, there, there's a little sample basic program that you could type in. So I'm going to type in a little sample basic program here that uh, you can use here. Now, the Vic Voter has not been tried with the plus four because the user port connector has been, is a little bit wide for the, the, the casing of the, of the plus four. But if you have a Dremel, you can like file down one sixteenth of an inch on either side of the user port connector of the Vic Voter, and possibly then it could fit into the plus four. So it has not been tried on the plus four, but it should work for the plus four. Okay, so let's do our little program here, which is not much. It just prints to the screen 
and it also says whatever's printed to the screen. Oops, I'm doing this wrong. There we are. So in the little sample program, of course, it says, hello world, which is not what I would write, but of course, this is just a little sample program. And then three, and then we end it like that, and then we run what it says. Okay, here's here it is. It's running on the Big 20. Hello world. Okay, that's all it says. Hello world. Or you could change whatever it has to say in there to something else. Like, I haven't typed the entire thing here. Well, I guess I could in a bunch of print statements. Oops. Okay, let's run this one. Space the final frontier. Okay, so that's how that one sounds. So, yeah, you could have a little bit of fun. Like, we had Vincent Louis' uh, son uh, playing with this uh, the other weekend at uh, the FCUG meeting. He was putting in all kinds of, you know, middle school, <laughs> middle school words into, into the big voter, trying to, you know, I told him no cuss words, but he was, you know, putting in cartoon, cartoon sayings and things from various TV shows are good. Oh, okay, that's what middle schoolers are involved in. But right now, we are going to power down the VIC-20 again, and we're going to try in one of these adventure games. Now, I, oops, whoa, put it over there. I'm a terrible adventure gamer. So, so, at our FCUT meeting, we tried out Adventureland, which I didn't have too much success with, Pirate's Cove, which was more interesting. I'm sorry, not Pirate's Cove, but The Count, which was more interesting, kind of horror Dracula type of thing, or Pirate School, which has not been tried. So we're going to try the count. I'm going to just plug this in here. Okay, hopefully it's all the way in. And we're going to power it up the VIC. And let me try it one more time, making sure it's all the way in. Okay. There we are. And we're going to type the system command so that we can initialize the cartridge. Okay. Oh, and the Vic voter is not speaking because we didn't give it 30 seconds to, <laughs> to initialize. So hopefully, come on, initialize Vic voter. Initialize. Vic voter version one. Okay, well. System ready. If we had waited for the Vic voter to initialize, it would have read all this entire screen. So it says, want to restore a previously saved game? No. Okay. And I'm lying in a large bass bed sheets pillow. Welcome to Adventure, by the count dedicated to Alvin Files. I see I was put to bed this afternoon, and person I overslept. What shall I do now? Okay, so again, what shall you do now? What do you do? I'm going to look. Look, look around. Look. <laughs> look, I'm lying in a large bass bed sheets pillow. I see nothing special. What shall I do now? Okay, my first response was this, to, to this was go to the bathroom. But, but we shall we shall use something some other direction in an adventure game. Uh, Louis, I think you, maybe you know a little bit more about adventure games. Uh, what, what shall I do? Should I should I? Walk, go east, <laughs> go west, <laughs> go, <laughs> go somewhere. <laughs> go to go, go to heck. Pick pick up pick up pick up get sheets pick up sheets get sheets okay I don't know. get sheets get sheets okay watch I do now get pillow get pillow okay I'm getting the sheets and I'm getting the pillow okay. Get pillow, okay. What shall I do now? Uh. Get them. <laughs> uh. I'll just look now that you. Look? Look again? Okay, look. Inventory. Oh. I'm lying in a large bed. I see nothing special. What shall I do now? Okay, in inventory. No, Greg says inventory. Okay, inventory. Inventory carrying sheets, pillow tents, tape. What shall I do now? Ah, a steak. The person's carrying, well, not a, not a beef steak, a steak to drive through the heart of a, a vampire. Okay, what shall I... You skipped a few pages there. <laughs> so what shall I do now? Um, 
we just did inventory. Okay. So um, uh, go get up. Is there no go? Go. Oh, I don't know. Go. Go east. Go east. Go east. Can't go that way. The hell shall I do now? Ah, darn it all. Darn parsers. You're right. Okay. You sure? Get up. He, okay, Louis says get up. Get up. I'm in a bedroom. Closed window, brass bed, north. Okay. What shall I do now? Ah, north. Uh, open window? Open window. Open window, I'm in a bedroom. Open window, brass bed, north. Okay. What shall I do now? Uh, I, I did that. It says okay, but it doesn't verify that I've opened the window. It says okay. <laughs> should, I, should I jump? <laughs> Look! Look. Look, I'm in the ah. bedroom. Open window, brass bed north. I see nothing special. What shall I do now? Uh, go south. Go south, can go that way. What shall I do now? Go west. <laughs> oh no, we got we we got farther on this game than the other the other weekend. Go east. Go east can't go that way. What shall I do now? Walk. Hold on, you're in a bedroom. There's an open window. Go through a window. Yeah, climb out the window. Climb climb out through window. What the heck? Okay, climb. Be adventurous. Out. <laughs> climb. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, can't do that yet. So in the future he'll be able to to climb, but I'm not sure when. Well, we went through this game the other day. When I told him to go to sleep, it's like he died and came back to life. So I'm gonna tell him to sleep. Let's see what happens when I say sleep. Oh. Hi there, hunch, I've been robbed. I see I was put to bed, it's afternoon, and person I overslept. I'm lying in a large brass bed sheets. My neck looks bitten. What shall I do now? Ah, his neck was bitten. What shall he do now? So now, so, some, some vampire has bitten him. What shall he do now? So again, Figure out the game. It'll be hours and hours of trying to figure it out. Or if you're a good gamer, if you're a good adventure gamer, you can figure this out pretty fast. But for me, no. But there you go, Vic Voter. It has a lot of potential. Uh, the developer wants to write, uh, wants other people to write, you know, programs for it to use. Uh, he has he has this for 99.95 on his website. He has cheaper versions without. Uh, the speaker and with only a line out jack for about sixty nine ninety five or sixty four ninety five. He has even a cheaper one with which is a kit that you build it build it yourself, which is just over thirty dollars. So uh, just search for Vic Voter on the internet. You'll come to his website. You'll listen to Vic Voter speak the entire Gettysburg Address. If you want to hear, yeah, the Vic Voter. I mean, it pauses in the wrong place in the Gettysburg Address. It, it reaches the end of the basic line and it pauses for a second. Okay, wait a minute. I'm sure Abraham Lincoln didn't pause right there when he was giving the Gettysburg Address. But it pauses at the end of each line. He did? Oh, that's right. We were not there to hear Lincoln. So maybe he did. Maybe he did pause at the end of each line. Okay. So that's the presentation on the Vic Voter.